so my recent video decided to get a lot of views. Some people liked it, some people didn't like it, and I think I have the responsibility to respond to some of these comments, because some of these comments are really dumb. Starting off with this first one. On to the next comment. Why would you open up the video with you all know the drill and then say things that everyone knows for 90% of the video? Well, that's exactly why. People already know what I'm talking about, so I say you all know the drill. Because I posted the video a day after everything happened, and I figured everyone that's gonna watch my video probably have already seen what's going on. So yeah, that's why I said you all know the drill. Am I stupid, or is this guy stupid? Nobody wants to see TTV every five seconds. Well idiot. It's TJV, but nice try. 90% talk, 10% footage. Well, I am a commentary channel, so there will be a lot of talking. Plus, for my commentary videos, I like to express my opinion, which that's some of the reason why some people go to watch commentary channels, to see someone else's opinion on something. And I think when it comes to the Mayweather versus Paul fight, I have a little bit of a different opinion than other people might. Dude, play the whole footage and STFU. Well, I'm a commentary channel, so no. Plus, it's my video, I get to do whatever I want. You're rooting for Paul? You just said you really don't know who's gonna win the fight, WTF. So, um, I'm obviously not gonna know who's gonna win the fight. Just like how you don't know who's gonna win the Super Bowl. But you can always have a team to root for. I have my fighter I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for Logan Paul. But yeah, I don't know who's gonna win the fight, but I can still root for someone. Again, are people just getting more stupid? Or do I just have the really dumb YouTube users commenting on my videos? I honestly can't tell right now. So all these other comments are pretty much talking about me rooting for Logan. And I'm here just to explain why, and it should shut up anybody who put any of these comments, or anybody else that's going to put any comments like that. I'm rooting for Logan Paul, simply because I think his maturity has grown enough where he can be likable and I can be behind his side. Some people might agree with that, some people might not, and if you don't, I respect that. But an even bigger reason why I want Logan Paul to win is because I'm a person who wants to be entertained first and foremost, which Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul have both came out and said that all they want to do is entertain people. And I think it would be way more entertaining to have the underdog win. The person least likely to win, to win, is always going to be more entertaining, at least for myself. Many of you guys might like the underdog to win. You want the team that has zero chance to win to actually win. It's like a miracle play that happens in basketball or a miracle play that happens in football and it pushes the underdog team to win. That's what I want Logan Ball to do. I want him to pull off the impossible because it would be entertaining. Plus, all the reactions on social media will be fun to watch and just seeing how the internet's gonna react to a YouTuber that's been super controversial to beat the best boxer in the world, which I do believe Floyd is the best boxer in the world. So yeah, that's that's my opinion. <laughs> I want Logan to win, so I'm rooting for Logan. And guess who else is also rooting for Logan? This guy. If you don't believe me, watch this clip. I really want to know what they might be doing <laughs> with this Mayweather Logan Paul fight, yo. And I also know that a lot of people are gonna be asking, who do I want to win? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want Logan to win. <laughs> I know, right? What? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> I will always, until I die, be Team YouTube, man. I will always support my fellow YouTuber. If it's a YouTube YouTuber versus a mainstream done. I'm always gonna go for the YouTuber. I want Logan to win. If Logan beats Mayweather, holy sh <laughs> That would literally destroy the internet. <laughs> oh God, I can't even imagine. It, it's so ridiculous. Like, I think there'd be riots. <laughs> I think there'd be riots, bro. Like, people would just be like, nah, nah. <laughs> Mayweather is undefeated and he's lost to Logan Paul, who's a YouTuber! No! <laughs> Going on to the next few comments. All these are pretty much talking about me saying that Floyd was winded. Yes, in my video, I said Floyd was winded. That he was pretty tired out from the whole shabacle that he was in, trying to get Jake Paul. Some of these comments are saying that he wasn't winded, he has one of the best gas tanks in boxing. Some of these are just laughing at the fact that I said Floyd was winded. Regardless on how you want to see it, yeah, Floyd was winded. But I'm not necessarily calling that out as a bad thing. I'm not saying Floyd's gonna lose the fight because he was winded. I'm saying he was winded simply just to point out something that was happening. I also pointed out that Jake was winded and his face was red. But I wasn't throwing disrespect towards anyone or saying that one person's gonna beat the other person. I just said it makes me unsure on how they're gonna perform. That's all I said. I said that Floyd Mayweather was winded. And apparently that means I'm trashing on Floyd Mayweather. If anything, I'd rather trash on his trash 
talking during the press conference than him being winded. I thought he did fine when he was getting in that whole scrap. It was entertaining. I'm glad that he jumped after him. I'm glad that he got mad over the littlest thing like his hat being taken because it was pretty entertaining making a video about it and watching it. But yeah, I wasn't meaning anything bad, but the people who disliked the video already disliked it. These two comments are actually talking about the press conference and Floyd Mayweather's trash talking, saying that he brought up the whole Japan thing and I brought up the whole wife beater thing out of context. I really didn't. I brought up Logan Paul bringing up the wife beater comment, but you don't need the Japan thing. I was simply pulling the wife beater thing that Logan said as an example of what he was saying that is making Logan seem like the villain. He's taking the harsh shots towards Floyd. Now, before you comment saying, wait, the Japan thing's also a harsh shot. Yeah, I guess it is a little harsh, but Logan's pretty much over it. He jokes about it in his own vlogs. So pulling that out during a press conference really ain't gonna do nothing. And in the press conference, Logan barely flinched when he brought up Japan. I was mainly just bringing up the wife beater because I thought that was way more of a harsh shot and the reaction of the people who were there, it seems like that was way more harsh anyways. The Japan thing was kind of weak, to be honest. He's not banned, LOL. Uh, if you're talking about Jake, yeah, he is banned from the fight. Go check that out again. These people are saying Jake is not crying. Um... I don't know. I'll relook at the footage again, but I'm pretty sure he's not crying. It might sound like he's crying if his voice cracks. You gotta remember, Jake is still a child, so his voice is gonna do that as he's getting closer to puberty. I heard maybe a voice crack or two, but that's about it. I don't think he was bawling his eyes out. If the photo isn't real, why is he wearing suck big glasses? Uh, if you're talking about this photo, which a lot of people like to use in their thumbnails for the whole Floyd Mayweather, Jake Paul incident recently, this is a fake photo, and if you want proof, there's your proof. This was posted did back last November in 2020. He suffered from a broken nose three weeks before one of his fights. It's an old photo, I knew it was, and I called it out. Also, by the way, Floyd, I'm pretty sure, went 50-0 and 0 one season or whatever. Okay, I think Floyd's gonna win the fight, what's your point? I'm rooting for Logan, but I think Floyd's gonna win. I'm not saying Floyd's a bad boxer. I never did say that. I'm just saying I'm rooting for the underdog because I think it will cause more chaos on the internet, which can Chaos equals entertainment for a lot of people, including me on my commentary channel. My entire channel literally breathes on chaos on the internet. These three comments are from the same person. I just want to say you should probably get a life if you're going to comment three separate comments about three separate things. But hey, you got the freedom to do whatever you want. Oh, and the answer to your question here, uh, just make a second account and I think you can dislike a video again. I'm going to die laughing if Logan wins. Yeah, me too. That's why I hope he wins. Haha, <laughs> got your hat, bruh. I love how childish he is. Yeah, uh, Jake's pretty childish. Logan is better than Jake. I agree. Man, don't believe anything with Jake or Logan boxing anymore. They'll always be fake boxers. Uh, not necessarily. I think they're amateur boxers, but I don't think they're fake boxers. A fake boxer would be someone who pretends to be a boxer, but these guys have trained, they have gotten in the ring with people, they have beat people. Granted, those people were awful, and they haven't fought anyone really skilled yet, but it might be a few matches until Logan or Jake fight someone that's just as skilled as them. I think the closest Logan has been has been with KSI, his only boxing matches. And I think Jake might be approaching some sort of boxer that might match his skill, if not better. Are the Pauls just incapable of being professional? You're not fighting small time anymore. Uh, it's just sort of the name of the game. They're YouTubers. They're gonna act like YouTubers. They're gonna try to drive tickets and have massive egos. Get used to it. Floyd is poop. I disagree. Floyd Mayweather could have the flu and a touch of COVID and still beat Logan and Jake, the joke, on the same night. Guaranteed. Uh, I disagree. If he had the flu and COVID, I don't think he would fight them on the same night. That would be a health risk for Logan and Jake, so the fight would at least be postponed. All I'm saying is the Pauls pick smaller and or non fighter to fight. Not necessarily. Logan Paul picked KSI, or at least agreed to the match. I think that was pretty fair, but I don't know. And I agree. I think Jake is fighting some smaller slash non-fighters, people that aren't really matched to his skill yet, but I think Jake will eventually move up to someone who will match his skill, and then we'll see how Jake does when he has some actual pressure on him. And the rest of these comments are all saying that Jake is childish, and he's a child. I completely agree with all these. He's a little baby, but don't worry. He's gonna get to puberty soon and realize what the real world 
world is like. And when that happens, I'm hope he's face down on the mat, knocked out. Anyways, that's me reading those comments. Thank you all those people who put good comments down. I really appreciate reading those every once in a while after getting through a lot of bad comments. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't, I guess leave a dislike, but better yet, you could just click off the video before disliking. Or if I can change your mind, here's a cookie. Now, will you please like the video? Also, feel free to subscribe. Here's another cookie for subscribing. And here's a third cookie if you want to leave a nice comment. But more than likely, I'm going to get a lot of mean comments from this. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.